So now e4, c5 and b4, pawn sacrifice. After c takes b4, which we are doing, white has three options of playing a3, another pawn sacrifice and but trying to bring one of those pieces on c1 or b1 into the game immediately. Knight f3, a quiet move, white is trying not to show all of the cards for now and waiting for black's reaction. And d4, which looks dangerous but is really a bad move and let's go to investigate why. Here we have this d5 reaction, after which white is able either to take or to play e5 for now. After e5, I'm already sure you feel it might be wrong for white, cause our pawn is not on e6 and we are simply able to develop this bishop in the future. But for now, d4 is also weak and start to attack this pawn looks much better. So knight c6 and if a3 queen b6. If white plays here knight f3, bishop g4 is just killing. And if bishop b3 is bishop f5 now, so black is just a pawn up which much better position. That's the reason this e5 is not working. So let's check e takes d5. And here we play knight f6, bringing our knight. So if white plays some quiet move like knight f3, we just take on d5 and end up a pawn up with a much better position. If white tries to give bishop b5 check, we play bishop d7 and bishop c4 protecting the pawn, we play bishop f5. So if now check knight bd7, we developed our bishop, but again, we're much better. So only reasonable move for white here would be a3, because if we take on a3 now, white can play c4 and white will have very strong center for now, which can be complicated. What I offer instead of taking on a3, to play queen d5, knight f3, bishop g4, takes and e5, a little bit complicated line, but really good one for black, because white has no really choice now but to take on e5, because if knight c3, bishop b4 is coming, if c4 here is a check and we can take on b4, so d takes e5 is mandatory, and after it takes, what should take here, knight d5, this is all forced, after g takes f3, we give bishop b4 check. White has two bishop advantage, but <laughs> have five weak pawns in the center, it's a really funny position, because all white pawns are weak, we have excellent pieces, good uh, squares in the center, and in a couple of moves, if white plays some bishop d2, we just can exchange, play knight c6, and all white pawns are gonna be extremely weak, so this endgame is slightly better for black, and this is the reason that this d4 move is not really working out, so I offer you to go ahead and see what would happen if white plays knight f3 immediately. 